Hello, welcome to LRS Fishing. Now then, where am I and what am I doing? So I'm gonna try a bit of pike fishing um, today. The weather is, it's overcast, it's cloudy, but the water is clear. So for me, it's perfect conditions. It's not too bright, it's not too dark. The, um, the water, the river is actually really quite good. Um, so hopefully I'll be catching some pike. Where am I? Well, I've come to the east coast. Um, it's a sort of two, three birds with one stone sort of situation because in a couple of weeks I'm going to Anglesey uh, for a family holiday and um, all my fishing rods and stuff are at the, at the caravan, the, the ones that follow me will know that I've got uh, my father and mother and father-in-law have got a static caravan on the east coast sea pool in. So I've come here, I thought, do you know what? I can go river fishing pick up my fishing rods and go sea fishing later. I'll do, sea fi I'll do a video for sea fishing, but that'll be like next week or I'll put that out another time. Um, but I'm just a bit eager to get on uh, for some pike fishing this morning. Um, I haven't really been too successful with pike fishing this, this season. I haven't really got out, had much of an opportunity. Um, been a bit busy and stuff and um, yeah, I just haven't had the chance. So I thought Saturday, it's the 3rd of February, 3rd of February, yes, yeah, the 3rd of February. Um, it's very warm, it's, at the moment it's 10 degrees. I left at six o'clock this morning and um, it's, it's just so warm this time of year, you know, usually minus one, minus two, but no, it's 10 degrees, it's gonna be about 14 today. Um, so yeah, a bit cloudy, they reckon it might just shower, but hey-ho, it is what it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all my gear out of the van, um, out of the car rather, I've got my head mount, so I'll be um, filming everything. Um, so yeah, let's get out onto the river. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Boom, here we are. I'll just work the margins. You all know me, I love working the margins first. Because you never know if there's gonna be any pike sitting on here. It's deep just in here. It is actually quite deep. So there could be a pike laying anywhere along here. So. working well that is. I've got a bit of a twig on my lure. Okay. Uh, the wind is blowing in my face a little bit so whenever I cast that way it does, my cast does get killed off a bit which is unfortunate. So once I've covered these margins, I'll cast out into the middle, I'll do this thing called fan casting. So I'm in one spot, I'm covering all this water. Which is the name of the game. Now then, listen, what do you, tell me about this now, right? I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a few little secrets, well not secret, but I have actually caught pike here before. So for me, I feel like I'm under a bit of pressure now because I, I've caught pike, in fact, I've, I caught two pike in the space of 10 minutes, just over there on that point. And it was brilliant. So whenever I go to a place and I've caught pike there before, I do get a, a feeling of pressure. I don't know why, it's because I know I've caught it here before. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if anybody else gets like that. But yeah, I do I do get a bit of, bit of pressure. Anxiety, oh, I wouldn't call it anxiety, just pressure, yeah, just pressure. Yeah, 
the wind is there's not a lot of wind but it's just killing my cast a little bit I've got a five out five gram jig head on uh, what am I using my right it's the um, Fox Rage Warrior ultra light it's eight foot I'm sorry six foot eight and it's uh, two to eight gram it's a I did have the heavier version of this but I wanted a lighter version um, it's such a good rod the reel I mean it's a great reel size 2500 uh, 20 pound braid breaking strain it's I mean look at it. it's a good reel man I do like Fox Rage gear and it's so it's so just feels so balanced this look at it's a good rod it really is I've, I've said in my previous videos I've always been drawn to Fox Rage I don't know why I've tried other stuff but I just I just love it I, I don't know why maybe oh, I don't know who knows mate who knows people Mind you, to be fair, that is quite a distance from here to there. You'd need like a, I think a 10, 10 gram, 10 gram jig head on, I reckon. I did want to put a seven on, but I didn't want it to sink too fast. Because I do find a lot of the time my pike takes uh, when they're on the drop. You know, because you're imitating an injured fish and when, when it's fluttering down, I think the pike just come from underneath and smash it, to be honest. That's my take on it anyway. So I'm on. I'm on a fish. Yep, I'm on a fish. Feels. Yep, here we go. It's only a little jack. That is not. That is, is that a pike? Oh yeah, is yeah. Yeah, it's only a little jack. And he's. Oh, he's going on a run. Yeah, he's only a little pike. And I've got you, son. In the back of the net. I didn't blank. Oh, that's a relief. Just took me out in the middle. He's only a little pike. Let's have a look, see what we've got. I know we're on grass, but I brought my mat as well. I know people are like, take the mic and it's like, ooh, baby mat, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's right there, right there. Oh, he's still full of life though. Maybe I should have played him out a bit more. Yeah, what do you think? Right, let's get him, because he has twisted in the net a little bit. Ah, now then, now I'm in the business. Right, he's unhooked. Superb. Yes. <sighs> Go on. Absolute beauty. Well, now I've got to find the treble because I want to rest him up in the net before I let him go. But that's the only thing with trebles I really don't like. Because what will happen is we'll swim. Oh. There you go, guys. What do you reckon? Nice pike. Two, two pound maybe. <laughs> Look at that. Sucking teeth. Right. I've had him resting in the net for about five minutes because he had a bit of a trouble getting him unhooked so he's nice and rested look at that how good is that oh, I'm so pleased right let's get him released yes <laughs> see him in the net yeah you see him I don't know anyway 
There he is. There he goes, there he goes. <laughs> Get in! So what happened was he he didn't actually take the treble. Which I was very surprised. One second. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't actually take the treble. Um, the whole thing was in his mouth, and um, he'd missed the treble. But the treble, as I netted him, he, he twisted up, and the treble got caught up in the net. So I left him. And see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, le I left him in the net while I dealt with the treble. I, I took everything apart, the whole ring apart, and just left the treble in the hook, uh, in the net, and um, dealt over that way. So then I didn't have him out of the war and stuff. But he seemed absolutely fine. So yeah, I know it wasn't a big one, but still, Jack Pike, that's good fun. So I'm going to wander up to the top there. There's like a little point. I'm going to um, see if I can catch something a little bit bigger. If not, I'll be. I'll just take the one. I'm quite pleased, I'm really unpleased. My party fishing hasn't been too good. Uh, I started late for a few reasons, so um, I'm late in the day really. I should, have, I should have started straight away as soon as the season started. Um, but no, I'm pleased, that's, that's a weight off my shoulders to be fair. I'm relieved. So I can now relax, I've caught a fish, and now I can uh, relax. So I'm gonna sort out my gear, get down to that point and cast. There's a lot of water over there that I'm gonna God, that I'm going to have a go at. A boat, a boat came by and um, he's piking. Um, so I don't know if he was down there, if it's good, better down there or whatever, I don't know, but I'm very pleased. Get in! So, I told him I mess up and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Right, I'm just going to concentrate on this margin. Here. I'm going to get too close to the water. Now the wind's picked up a bit, so I'm conscious about casting over there. If I cast forward, it's going to go into that tree over there. I've got caught close to it a couple of times. But how about that? A pike. A nice little jack pike. I'll be happy with that. It was close in as well, so it must have followed it. And then as I've got closer to the mat, it was like about three, two, maybe two rod lengths out. Possibly something like that. Oh yeah, that's a great cast. It does look like it's a big gap between there and there. I want to cast in the middle, but the problem is the wind's blowing. So every single time I cast over there, the line, my blue is drifting in the wind. So I've got to be careful. Now I'm disappointed because they've blocked this off. <coughs> Probably I wanted to get on the corner here and cast and all this water. That looks great, but uh, I don't know. So it looks like this is as far as I'm going to go. Unfortunately, but I'll spend a bit of time casting over here and then make my way back that way. But I'm going to concentrate on this margin once I get this retrieve done. Now that is deep there, man. Still sinking. Oh, that's pretty good. That's the best part of what? Five feet deep just there. That's pretty good. Pike don't need a lot of water to be sitting in just to be hiding in the margins, so. Yeah, I do, I do, I do love checking out these margins. My, P, my PB Pike, seven pound something or other. First cast, I just dipped it down in front of me by my feet and a pike just came from underneath. There must've been a cutout in the bank. And it, it just slammed it, it was brilliant. Disappointed, I can't get onto this corner here. Maybe I'll be able to. What's that? Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, it's broke free. Right, I'm gonna keep on casting around here for a bit and then I'll um, see if I can get a bit closer to this point. I mean, it's just private, but I don't know. I don't see why I can't 
Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna cast concentrate on this open water for a bit on this little bend and um, yeah, see if I can pick up another one. We're gonna try this little corner here. Wow, what's around here then? Oh wow, this looks nice. Shall so I try it? Shall so I give it a flick? Whoa! Let's not fall in. <laughs> so I'm back at the car now. I'm going to call it a day with the pike fishing. It's, I mean, I got here at 8, 20 past 8 or half 8, whatever it was. And now it's 20 past 9, uh, 11, sorry, 20 past 11. So I've done a couple hours, uh, just the one pike, little jack pike, but that's okay. I'm so, <laughs> I know I've said it before, but I'm so relieved I caught that pike. Uh, pressure was on, because I've, I've caught pike here before. Um, I had a really good session uh, last winter. Um, I came here um, uh, in our tour of caravan just to start up the road. And um, I'll go up and down here all the time when we come on holiday around here. It looks so good. Um, so there's, uh, I'm really pleased. There's some good pike in there. I reckon there's some double figure fish in there, but it just gets to a point where you can't carry on going around. So next time I'm going to go on the right hand side and go down on, because I always go to the left hand side of the river, on the river bank. And I'm going to go on the right hand side next time I'm down here in the winter and see if I can carry on going further because it gets to a point where it's private property. But on this side, I, I didn't know that. On this side, it doesn't. So next time I'm going to come straight down here and go all the way down to the bottom and see if I can pick out some more pike. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get much more pike fishing in, to be honest, uh, this season because um, timing, work, and I'm also going on holiday in two weeks. So I might be able to get one or two more in, I don't know. It's going to be a struggle, to be fair. Um, but yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting out to Anglesey because I'm going to I'm going to be doing a couple of videos. I'm not going to be doing too much filming because uh, I'm on holiday with the family. I'm not just going to leave them and I'm going to go off fishing like we want to explore and stuff because I haven't holidayed in Anglesey before only North, Wales, uh, only North Wales. So um, yeah, it's going to be good. But I will be getting the camera up to do a few sessions. Um, it's, a, it's a funny name. Almawick. Almawick or something like that. Um, some people on the on the internet say it's really good sea fishing. You know, a chance of cod, the uh, chance of some big um, a bull huss. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I probably won't catch anything, <laughs> but we're going to give it a go anyway and see what happens. So again, thank you for watching LRS Fishing. Give us a comment, like, and please subscribe. Get me to that thousand. That's all I want is just my thousand subscribers. Uh, so yeah, thanks again, people. And you know what? Wherever there's water, <laughs> I'll be there. Take care, guys. See you again.